the whole place is a bit of an experiment. We're experimenting with planting combinations, some plants we haven't used before. We're experimenting with design by committee. <laughs> but so far, it's, we think it's a very successful experiment. <laughs> we wanted to celebrate South Australia's natural materials and South Australia's craftspeople. So we have basket range stone here. The pots were made by master craftsman Potter, Mark Heidenreich, using South Australian clay and a technique that he hasn't done anywhere before. He's done it especially for South Australia using a symbol of a Mediterranean climate, the vine leaf, which one day we'll see dripping over the pergola that's going to be built here. When this garden was originally planted, it was very much in the Botanic Gardens model of in lots of different plants, yes. individual specimens to um, illustrate a wide range of plants and they were divided into the five Mediterranean garden zones. What's happened here now is that we've not just, we're still using plants from each of the five zones and hopefully an equal representation, but a lot more mass planting for effect mm. rather than having individual plants representing a botanic collection. Yeah. However, biodiversity is really important for the health of a garden yeah. and for the people and the animals and insects that inhabit it. So we've got to provide a lot of diversity and that also gives us an opportunity to make sure that there's a continual floral display which is very important for the birds and for the insects.